it was another week and another loss for the Jaguars. So I'm, I'm going to make another video talking about another Jaguars loss. Uh, I, I, I was hoping this would be the one where I'd be able to write to talk about a Jaguars win, but um, at least there was a very competitive football game. There's no doubt about that. Uh, for being one of the biggest underdogs of the year, let alone uh, the, 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 of the week. Uh, the Jaguars really played the Texans tight all the way through and had plenty of chances to win this game. And that's, that's really what's most frustrating about it, is that the Jaguars had chances. They uh, were in the red zone in, in overtime for a chance to have a touchdown. They had the ball in Houston territory in overtime with a, a field goal chance, with a chance for, to kick a field goal to win it. Uh, and they didn't get either of those. Um, but really, what's good news about this is that we saw a lot of uh, solid pieces for the Jaguars really doing well. Uh, this was easily the best game of Justin Blackman's career. Uh, he finished with well over 200 yards receiving, 236 on seven receptions, uh, had an 81-yard reception, reception. We we continued to see the explosive plays from Cecil Shorts. He had a 67-yard touchdown. Uh, earlier in the game. Uh, both of these touchdowns were thrown by Chad Henney, which is going to be a, a storyline for this next week. Uh, who's going to start playing Gabbard or Chad Henney? Uh, I'm inclined to think Chad Henney's going to be the starter, um, but, you know, I don't think he played lights out. Let's let's not pretend like he really uh, had the game of his life. Uh, he completed fewer than 50% of his passes after starting 12 of 16. Um, after that 12 and 16, 12 12 of 16 start, he finished 4 of 17. Uh, and a lot of these plays, the Justin Blackman touchdown, the Cecil Shorts touchdown, uh, were huge yards after catch plays. Uh, so I, I don't want to take away from his performance. He did play very well, but uh, it wasn't the world beating performance that uh, a four touchdown performance is u usually look like. So uh, what was the worst part about this game is really when you look at the stat book, uh, Matt Schaub completing five, 527 yards through the air, uh, 273 of those to Andre Johnson. Uh, it was the worst defensive performance in Jaguars history, but at the same time, uh, they did pretty well against Arian Foster, holding him to just 77 yards on 28 attempts, which is fewer than three yards per carry. So there were a lot of positives and, and that's really if you look at it from a, a, a specifically Jaguars perspective uh, there were positives and they lost the game uh, but at this point they're eliminated from the playoffs so wins and losses don't matter a whole lot uh, and really a, a loss puts them one step closer to a top draft pick which might be the best thing for this team at, at this point so uh, They'll move on, they'll, they'll host the Titans at home, which considering it's at home, who knows what's gonna happen. That's typically been a really rough place, but the, the Titans haven't been very good this year either. Uh, and it's another week, at least they, they played it very well. So uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, at Big Cat, SBN, SBN Big Cat Country, uh, and also tune into Big Cat Country to read our thoughts about the quarterback controversy and everything else Jaguars. Thank <laughs> you.